Take three, new day, new story. How did I get this gun? Let me tell you how I got this gun. Without a doubt, I'm a slob. Well, at least I managed to get it cleaned up a little bit. Now I can actually shoot video in there again. But I've got a story to tell you first. So I do have a story to tell you. But, um, as you can see, I had to do a little cleaning before I could even undertake this. Now that that's out of the way, let me explain something to you. I am a radio host. I do what is referred to as a syndicated radio show, which means I go out to a syndicator and then it's sent out via satellite to uh, various stations throughout the country. It is a sort of an old, old form factor, if you will, for media. It's when the, you know, it's like TV. But um, at the same time, I do have a digital footprint with a podcast, and I'm sort of, sort of wondering what it's going to turn out to be. Radio is a great medium, but you know, it is aging. But anyway. I digress. One of the things about radio, or about this kind of broadcasting, podcasting, being a one-man guy, one-man band, I've wanted to start a podcast with a co-host, and so far, uh, that kind of commitment I haven't been able to wrangle out of anybody just yet. But with what I do, I am now on episode, wow, 2601. And that means there's three podcasts for each episode, so you guys do the math. That's a lot of podcasting over the course of time. And this is a medium where you don't get a lot of feedback, right? I don't ask for ratings. I don't ask for people to go to, uh, uh, you know, go to uh, Apple, Apple Podcasts and give me a review or anything. I get some, and I appreciate all of those, but it just never occurs to me to ask for that because I'm too busy trying to throw a lot of content out there. And I, you know, it's, it's time that... Uh, uh, is based upon a clock because I'm basing this on a radio broadcast so you know it's chopped up into segments and I have to do it and I have to be out of there so having said that like I said I don't get a lot of feedback but occasionally I get to meet a listener and I don't like to think of them as fans because when I meet them they're just people like they're, they're just like me they're just like you um, you know, they, they, they're gun enthusiasts, or they're shooters, or they're patriots, or ex-military, or something. And that, that's sort of cool to meet them. And, uh, you know, I've had a few things happen over the course of my time doing this. Like, the night that I had the heart attack. <laughs> January the 12th, 19, uh, 2015. A guy named Dan Korzanewski calls the hospital where I'm at, at the emergency room, to see if that's where I'm at. I don't know how he knew. Don't know how he knew. Anthony Calandro, uh, gun for hire. He put out that I was having a heart attack and prayer should be given. I didn't call Anthony and ask him to do that. Uh, met a guy named Craig Stevens. Craig Stevens, uh, he was a listener and he would, you know, come back and forth with me on Facebook here and there. And then uh, he moved here. He moved here, I think, from New Jersey or Maryland or some some restrictive state. And then he, uh, I met him in a gun shop after he asked me, how do I get this fixed to where my AR-15 can take magazines? And that's what happened this time. And, um... Those are always rich, validating moments for me. So recently, a guy named Andy Hazek. My name is Andy Hazek. Just recently retired from the Navy, January 26. Here up in uh, South Carolina, meeting with Bill Frady, and uh, enjoying what uh, South Carolina has to offer. Month, uh, February 13th, I started my new employment with a major company contracting with the Navy. and. Like 
set up the same drain we had in South Carolina and I have to offer here. He just had retired from the military. He decided to take a little road trip. He, he, he's a big uh, Civil War, Revolutionary War buff, and he wanted to go check out some places because here in the upstate of South Carolina, we got a lot of battlefields for him to go visit. So he went and visited all of them, and he's getting ready to start. He just, I don't know how many years he put into the Navy, but he just retired, and then he, uh, now he's got a civilian job, and he's going, he, he's a young fella. I mean, I, I wish I was still as tough and mean as he seems like he could be, but, uh, it was very nice to get to meet him. And then, he gave me a gun. Specifically, he gave me this gun. This is a CZ P07, excellent pistol. Uh, this was his personal carry gun. And he says he has 8,000 rounds through it. Well, CZ, I know, I knew CZ makes a pretty good gun. Uh, this one has, and oh, I, I got a better angle for this, he was a gunner's mate, so this has a gunner's mate of skull and crossbones right here, and the gun tube and the projectile coming out right there. It's it's got a uh, it's got some sort of a grip surface wrapped around it, which actually feels pretty good. I like I need to ask him where he got it from. Threaded barrel, pretty nice gun, but it wasn't whatever reason he gave this to me. It was a very humbling experience. He's a gun. He, he's very much a uh, gun. Aficionado. He sent me the Langdon Tactical uh, Berettas that I got to review. Remember those? In that moment of sitting there and talking to him, uh, what I was struck with was the fact that uh, I do reach people and it was a humbling thought. Occasionally, I get to meet up with one of the ninjas, which uh, I, I call listeners ninjas. I don't know how they actually feel about that. But right here to my right here is Andy Hazek, who just retired from the Navy. Uh, he has corresponded with me numerous times. He's the only ninja to ever let me shoot one of his guns on the range. Thank you. No problem. Um, and... I don't get to do this often enough, so this is pretty cool. I like this. Me too. <laughs> Just retired. He's uh, he's on a tour. He's he, he's he and his wife are going various places in a trailer. I was I was going to pick his brain about trailers, and he told me it was a money pit. So we're done with that one. <laughs> so, in any event, uh, maybe next time we can shoot. We'll see. And uh, hey. This is just the B-roll for what I'm about to talk about anyway, so stand by. <laughs> consider that I reach people enough to where they look forward to listening to it or they, they they're they interested in my opinion or whatever that's a very you know when, when a lot of people get out there and, and it's it, it's not like uh, it, it's very easy to get encapsulated into this I'm a radio guy bubble and um, I when I first got syndicated I was insufferable I mean I was an insufferable SOB I would tell anybody standing around, hey, what do you do for a living? Yeah, I'm a syndicated radio host. Yeah, yeah, sure am. Big dog. Then I realized one time when somebody asked me if I was famous, I realized the answer to that is if you have to ask me if I'm famous, I'm probably not. So now this is just my job. This is just what I do. Um, actually, I enjoy shooting the video too, but... Uh, you know, the, the, the whole radio process and everything else is still a, quite the thing. And it's with the podcast, of course, you can listen to it while you cut the grass or wash the car or whatever you're doing. I think more people engage with podcasts than they do with radio just because of the nature of how they get to listen to radio. But that's all beside the point. While I was getting ready, <laughs> while I was getting ready to uh, shoot this video and I was trying to compile my thoughts and everything else, I got a delivery.
come on that one later. More to come on that one later. So, um, in closing, let me just say that um, it was, if you're watching Andy, it was great to meet you and Jenny and uh, Blitzkrieg and and Gunner and I can't remember, was it Tough? They had three dogs that were just three different distinct personalities. They're crazy dogs. I love them being around. Uh, Jenny, you're, you're, you're quite the delight and Andy, I mean, you know, what can I tell you? I mean, I'm sorry we don't have you defending the country anymore. We need, I hope everybody is like you in the pursuit of the military job, so. And as for you guys, if uh, you like this kind of content, maybe give me a thumbs up. That would be most appreciative. I don't know exactly what it does for me in the algorithm. I have, I have not been affected yet by any of this stuff that seems to have affected some of the other gun channels, but then again, I'm not as big as they are, so I don't know. Maybe they're ignorant of me, and for me, in this particular case, ignorance is bliss, but give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe, please. Please. I'm going to be going to the range with everything you just saw. Stay tuned for that. I am out of here.